But yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? I think... Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, doggy. <laughs> At half every time. And this is... Um, um, the shot of my uh, my life. Look at this. Ouch! <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to a new episode <laughs> of Valheim Hardcore Permadeath. We're doing five or survived 75 days. <laughs> now, if you want to join me in this adventure, I have my... Uh, World settings to my right, my stats to my left. So this is how we've been doing so far. Now, if you recall from the last episode, we've just uh, fiddled with the mountain biome for a while. And let me just check the forges here quickly. Let's get the resources going because uh, this is a smart thing to do. I've, I've, I'll never get tired of mentioning this. So every time before you go out, just make sure your smelters, your forges are are running with ore. This way you're gonna save yourselves a lot of time. So if you recall from the last episode, we've just been on the mountain for a while, and now um, I've decided what the heck, why not upgrade the armor since we have the resources here. This will be a quite interesting episode, so uh, rather special one of that, because we're gonna do some more mountain farming. This is what I usually do, I explore one biome ahead of the other. Of the previous uh, boss fight, I mean, like, <laughs> so if I'm gonna fight Bone Mass, I'm gonna explore the mountain. If I'm gonna fight Yaglith, I'm gonna explore the Mistlands. Joking, <laughs> I'm not gonna explore the Mistlands. <laughs> That's impossible for me right now. But yeah, so uh, getting a bunch of obsidian arrows for the mountain. Now that we've upgraded our arrows, I feel a lot safer to uh, to go along and play along. And actually, we're gonna deal some serious damage at this point. So, right back on the mountain for some more adventures. Now, this <laughs> particular episode is gonna be quite funny because I've found something super rare on the mountain. I'm gonna tell you what just yet. But you're gonna see it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's fairy tale stuff. <laughs> These guys were chasing the deer, and I got the wolves. I got a deer ahead of them. So I put her out of her misery, and then I got the wolves. <laughs> this is straight fairy tale stuff. But yeah, something special is gonna happen on the mountain. Now um, you're gonna see at the right time what's gonna happen. But we're back to our little outpost. That's totally not safe. So I don't even know what I'm doing here. This is totally not safe, and not a good idea to spend time on a mountain. But yeah, I don't know why I never actually took the time to fix this outpost, to have some walls around it, or to place it on a rock, on a high rock or something, where it will, it will be a bit safer. And look at that, to my right hand side of the screen, there is a big blue boy. <laughs> so, no more big blue boys. Yeah, I have a thing for trolls, even if I don't need them. I feel like their size and the fact that they tormented my dark black forest uh, experience, so they're that arch nemesis in the dark forest. I feel like, ooh, I feel like we have to uh, get every troll. So this is interesting, on this mountain, and it's worth noting for the future, I have a mother stone, and we can use this to point ourselves in the direction of the mother, which doesn't seem to be on this island, because this is the only mountain on this island, as far as I know. This, if you look on the horizon, you usually see the shape of the island. Nice break there. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, get him. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, this is the only tall mountain, because you can have smaller mountains, you know how it goes, and those don't have silver nor obsidian if you have just small mountains in the black forest. I'm looking for onion seeds. Unfortunately, no onion seeds here. But yeah, instead of finding uh, onion seeds at this point, <laughs> I decided Hey, you know what? Let's go and explore a bit more on the mountain. Maybe eventually we will end up fight, uh, finding actually onion seeds. But yeah, that was not the case. Instead of onion seeds, I found this beauty <laughs> right here. And yeah, so let's let's go inside and see if anyone's home. Looks like nobody's been here in ages. Okay, so. Into the frost caves we are. First frost cave. Look at that. 
I hate those guys. They, like, in here, I'm always terrified. <laughs> they're always creepy. And elves? I think they're called elves. Yeah. They're always there, they're always creepy. Especially when they attack. Also the bats. Now, here's the thing. I don't have a good weapon. Look at my axe damage. Oh, my. come on, come on. I need to take my time and get the Abyssal Razor. Like, that's a must-have for close encounters. Especially with bats and stuff like that. But who knows, maybe we'll skip the Abyssal Razor and go straight to Skull and Heidi. Look at that, come on. Really? Two of them? They're just waiting on the other side. Now, this is embarrassing. I'm gonna have to farm a lot of bats. Luckily, they get stuck in the terrain. <laughs> so that's super convenient. Yeah. Doesn't feel like perma that hardcore unless you're gonna have a lot of bats chasing you down. Let's see what's in the chest. Nothing useful. I don't need the obsidian. You can farm it on a mountain, obviously. I don't know why they put it in the chests. I would much rather had a, a cultist head or something in a chest, which is a way more rare drop. So yeah, that could have been really, really useful. Let's check down here. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Luckily, they get stuck. They get stuck pretty often, so <laughs> they're easy to take down. Oh, now this is going up. Let's see what's up. What's up in here? So this is going up. Oh, come on. Really? These guys are gonna tear down my armor. This is an interesting formation. Can I get that? Oh, no. Can I get that bat? Please? Yep, yep, yep. Nice. Got him. Got him. Okay, so this goes nowhere. Absolutely bonkers. Nowhere, nowhere. Nothing's happening. Okay, so that's that. It's just... Ooh, almost fell down there. <laughs> it's just a cool formation. So yeah, I'm worried... I'm worried that I'm gonna die to fall damage. I swear to God. I'm worried about this permadeath run that is gonna end with me dying to fall damage. Because sometimes I'm careless. So I need to, like, right here. Also, this... They, they actually made this on purpose to be... Treacherous, the terrain, and dangerous. Yeah, you know what's fireproof? Wait until you see the mist lands. That's dangerous terrain. <laughs> of course it is. I don't want to. I don't know what I'm gonna do in mist lands. Come on, I'm missing the bats. They're everywhere. I'm doing the same thing, and I'm doing. Ooh, look at this tetra lake. What's the deal with the tetra fish? It's just a super rare find, or what? Because unless you're into fishing, I don't think they're too good at anything else. It's super quality fish meat, you're gonna get more meat out of them? I don't know. Come on, I'm missing I'm missing normal bats now. See, this is what I'm talking about. So, the only thing I'm going for the bats at this point is because these pesky little things, if I'm gonna go sneaky, come on, if I'm gonna go sneak mode, they're gonna detect me, the bats. So, and expose me to the other creatures like cultists. Now, that's a dangerous hole to nowhere, to death. Look at that. Look at that. This is really stupid. I'm risking a lot here. But I gotta see what's down there. Let's go down there. Let's get down here. Okay, call this there. Hopefully. We'll see. I'm usually following the right hand rule. The one that I mentioned in my tips. Another all of there. I'm having my bow charged. I'm <laughs> getting ready to shoot anything that comes into my direction. Oh look, and now we're cold, we're getting the cold debuff. Not anymore. But yeah, they don't have the cape, so that's that. I need to run on meads. But luckily we've farmed a ton of meads ahead, so... This permadeath run is going smoothly so far. Thanks to those meads. Now this is confusing, I'm checking to see... I think they're all there. Yeah. If my eyes aren't deceiving me, you see their glowing eyes? They're so cute. Doggies. Until they get close to you on there. <laughs> and then strange things. Ooh, strange things are gonna happen. That was that one was hidden. It was hidden. Um that doesn't look promising. So we gotta go the other way. This doesn't look promising either. Just a bunch of crystals and noises. So let's just try and get into their den, I guess. Oh, come on, this is gonna be dangerous. And look, and I'm detected for some reason. It's either a bat, or they can hear me. 
there uh yeah <laughs> oh there's a bat there's a bat right here and I bet there are cultists coming and I'm getting stuck in the terrain come on come on bat yeah this is really stupid because I'm actually aiming for the bat and there might actually be cultists in here or not I don't know we're, we're fine we're fine now here's the thing on the mountains there are a lot of uh, interesting frost caverns or uh, frost caves like this one they have a lot of uh, different or really interesting and large cave formations so I don't think I've ever seen one as large as this one but yeah some of them are really really uh, interesting to to watch to observe because they're they're quite special so two more here let's see can we get lucky with some cultists or just normal elves now the thing is it's a bit sad the elves actually drop nothing they're really not no this is this is this is disappointing so yeah the elves are really not a uh, good at anything they only drop the trophy and some teeth i think wolf teeth the one you can get from the ones you can get from the normal wolves last chance to find cultists please 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 Oh, I don't want to see cultists. I do want to see cultists. At the same time, I don't want, I don't want to see them. Make sense? No. Good. Okay, I think I can hear some. No, really? Really? Oh, come on. This is really disappointing. Okay, let's get the hair. Why am I sneaking? Why the heck am I sneaky? This is, this is really weird. Okay. So moving back, this is this has been a rather disappointing experience. So we're just gonna move back to where we started. Following the right hand rule, but just remember sometimes down here it can get really complicated. So remember if you went down or up on a on stairs, yeah, you always have to keep in mind the direction where you went. Is this check? No. Ooh, necklace. We don't have necklace. We don't have a silver necklace the first time. But yeah, and there are slim chances of me finding the traitor. I don't know if it sh I should waste time trying to find him. Maybe after we got the mother, maybe after I fight the mother, I'm going to give it a go. You know, search a bit the black forests around my main island. Maybe we'll get lucky. Who knows? Honestly, who knows? Maybe we will, maybe we won't. We can totally survive without him. And it's kind of getting dark. And there's a stone golem right there to my left, you can see it. I don't want to fiddle with that one right now, so let's just try and get home in one piece. Please, please, please. So this is totally not planned. But yeah, sometimes it can get dark. So the best chance for you is to get back home really safe. Mr. Drake. Come on, really? What's happening to my aim? I'm getting rusty. <laughs> I'm getting old and rusty. But yeah, we're good so far. We're gonna do some more exploring here soon. Ooh, look at that, werewolf, werewolves. I think they're called different. I don't know, I never got too close to them. I only shot them from afar. I know they have a really creepy howl. So when those guys howl on the mountain and you have the headphones, that's really, really scary to hear this. So see, they only drop wolf fangs, which is disappointing. Back to our little hut. Our little safe haven. At least I think it is. I'm not rushing anything here. I don't want to make noises to attract attention. But yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? I'm not going to fight this. I'm not going to fight this. Let's run for it. Let's run for it. We can come back tomorrow and play it safe. No, there's no way in hell I'm going to fight this. Nope, nope, nope. Running, 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 running. Yeah, we're not gonna risk it. Night time on the mountain. With the rested bonus gone. Look at that. Oh, come on. It's actually chasing me. We're getting back home. We're getting back home. Back to our cozy bed. Oh, come on. I'm not doing that. No way in hell. Really an event on the mountain. During the night with no rested buff. Let's get the SSAO back. Oh, come on. Let's sleep on it. And we'll see in the morning. Hopefully it's a better day. 
All right, 76 days survived. There goes my challenge of fighting Mother in 100 days. I don't think that will be possible. Because it's the 76th day already. Who oh, no, knows, this might be a close call. It's not a challenge, it's just a thing that I impose on myself. Never forget to collect your honey, because... <laughs> yeah, well, obvious reasons. You need it for food and meads all together, and you need a ton of it. Also, let's satisfy my OCD by repairing everything. But I hope you have this problem too, because it's a very useful problem to have. For issue. To plus that sweet repair button. I remember watching a beginner once crafting items all over because he didn't see the repair button up there. So he used to craft items over and over again. Just because he didn't know he could repair them. So <laughs> that was kind of sad. But yeah, I wish the game made it more obvious. It's not like it's glowing and blinking at you. <laughs> Back on the mountain we go. So I was curious to see if the event yeah, the vent stops, but it for no reason it doesn't stop for some reason, so it just goes on and on until if you return to the same area, right? So if you don't stop the event, I'm curious to see if you run from one event to another, or if you run from this event, will another one trigger and you're gonna have two areas with two events and eventually you're gonna have your entire map covered in events? So <laughs> what's gonna happen? But yeah, let's just run away, let's get back to the base. I'm not fiddling with any of them, I have no defense here. So, ergo, this is the best defense that money can buy at this point. So <laughs> we're just gonna cower in here and repair our walls. Luckily, these guys don't deal AoE damage. Otherwise, well, I would have been dead by now. So, praying to God that these guys don't attract a golem here. Because if a golem swings... Oh, the smell's gone. If a golem swings, then I'm, go I'm, I'm gonna... Ooh, look at that. What the heck is that? What sort of quadruple five six six three? <laughs> there are six archers. There are six archers, and I really hope I can get them before they get any staggered or something. I'm more only worried about the Draugr. Ooh, this is close. Get the Draugr, get the Draugr. Get all of them. You know what? The root horn sack would have been great now to avoid the pierce damage, but I left that at home. So yeah. Wolvies, wolvies everywhere. So many of them on the mountain. Now hear me out. I think this mountain really wants to kill me, or the game at this point is, is trying its hardest to kill me. Because look at this. Look at this. Really? Really? <laughs> Come on. This is the third stone golem. In two episodes. The third one. I, I thought that these guys were supposed to be super rare or something. But apparently not, so we're just gonna blast them with arrows. And hope for a trophy. Let's check for a trophy, I think it's a... That would be amazing, the trophy that these guys drop is, is one of the coolest looking trophies in the entire game. But sadly, yeah, no trophy. It's also super rare. Moving a bit forward, and there's another one, right? But, so, there are two golems in a space of five minutes here. Does this happen to you too on the mountain? Let me know in the comments. I thought that these guys are supposed to be more rare or something, but I feel like, especially on hardcore, they're everywhere on the mountain. And they're gonna see, and they're gonna see that it won't be long before we're gonna find more. <laughs> I bet there will be more. If, if at this point they're just gonna be stone golems at an interval of five minutes, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna find more. So this is the only enemy that I'm worried about. Not the wolves, not the anything, but the stone golem, because this guy can obliterate me in one second. Okay, so moving on. Wolves, more wolves. <laughs> I like these guys. They gave away their posi position by howling. So, yeah, they're kinda easy. Just make sure you, <laughs> you land your shots if you're gonna play the bow. If not, make sure you have enough blocking to block them. And remember, they do two attacks and sometimes even three in quick succession. So it's one attack and another one, so make sure you have your guard up. I've been doing some tests for the melee run. Let's sleep on it while I'm talking. And um, I figure out a strategy, strategy to make the melee run work. At least a bit better than uh, we I used to 
I, I thought it would be, so uh, that makes no sense. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on, it's a blizzard outside. Really? I think... Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, doggy! <laughs> How'd you get here? How'd you get here? That was a rather close encounter. <laughs> yeah, no, let's not do that anymore. So I figured out at this point I'm gonna die to this mountain if I'm gonna spend more time here. So, uh, yeah, let's just get back home. Look at that view. That's a nice, beautiful view of the base and the sun, bathing in the sunlight. Man, I love the graphics in this game, especially the lightning. The lighting is on point. Yeah, I also realized that if they added more textures, most PCs will actually burn. They could do... I actually thought, uh, talked about this with a friend of mine. So they could do a smaller map, because it doesn't need to be this large. You're only gonna explore, like, what? One island or two islands in the entirety of the game. Going to maybe each biome on, on an island. So they could have reduced the map size because it's huge, it doesn't need to be this large. Or or make an option where you can choose, right? So you can choose your map size. So for instance, if you're gonna play, let's get some a ton of obsidian arrows because I'm planning to go on another mountain. That one is pretty uh, weird there. We don't have a lot of things on the mountain. So hear me out, right? Um, having a smaller map with better textures and... Uh, I think that would be that would be amazing experience to have better textures but a smaller map, right? Instead of a really huge map um, with lower textures. But I get the idea of this game totally. So uh, same as Minecraft, Terraria, and other survival games that were that are top notch in gameplay and they're amazing gameplay. Same goes for Valheim. I'm here for the gameplay, obviously. But yeah, I do realize that if they increase the graphics, it's going to be a problem for uh, for some players. Now, there will be a quick Gordon Ramsay session of cooking here. I'm gonna make some uh, th three Michelin star uh, <laughs> dishes here in Valheim. So, we're getting ready for another mountain expedition. And I have spotted during my sail, so when we sailed to the uh, for the Elder, right? When I sailed for the Elder, I spotted a large island with a mountain on top of it. A really tall mountain. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna get there and first thing in the morning we're gonna try and get there. Hopefully for more caves and maybe we're gonna get closer to the mother. Who knows? Before anything, let's just take care of all the 78 days. All the ore that we have in our yard. Let's get some more copper in there and take everything back to the boat something happened to a torch now that's destroyed so let's just get to it quickly i trying to i'm trying to figure out how to get everything on the boat because obviously not all the items can fit in my on my person imagine having an event right now because it happened in the past too right <laughs> so that would be really unfortunate let's get everything in the boat now i've I took some wood with me for a base, but who knows if the mountain is really tall? Oh, come on! I was really, I was really talking, I was making a joke. <laughs> oh, come on! Don't take it seriously, mate. Oh, really? I'm just gonna have to wait out this event. Darn it! Okay, let's wait the event out. I'm gonna sit right here and look at you. Yeah. Okay. Fast forwarding because this will be a bit um, boring, so we're just gonna wait for the event to run its course. So, yeah, in case the mountain is accessible, I'm planning to have a cart with all the materials to drag it up and have a small base somewhere on the mountain. But otherwise, because you really need to plan ahead if you're playing with no map, no portals, right? But otherwise, I'll have to drop the wood to go to be able to climb the mountain, right? So I'm going to take the most imp important materials. And I'm going to have to farm the wood on the mountain, which is not ideal. This is why I packed the wood. You don't want to farm the wood on the mountain. That would attract a lot of unwanted attention. Mostly wolves, but yeah. Seeing how uh, wolves can be really dangerous, getting you staggered in one go, in one bite, is not ideal to have... Um, to have you farming wood on a mountain, right? So... 
try as much as possible to avoid that. Because farming and um, stuff like that, fighting, you know, makes a lot of noise. And the really cool thing about Valhammer that I really like is uh, that the creatures actually attracted the noise, as they would be do in, in real life, you know. So hopefully for some smooth sailing here, but, you know, this the wind is always your enemy until you get the mother buff. So that's that. Even if with the mother buff, you should keep Ikethir on your person at all times. It's easily by far the most useful buff in the game. On the second place I would uh, I would add the the buff from the bone mass and on the third place I would add the one from the Yagloth, but depends on the situation. So here's the island with the mountain that I spotted and actually I thought it was this one but it was a rather disappointing experience here and you're gonna see why. Because honestly I thought I see it from the distance, you see some mounds from the distance, you think there's a mountain there. So it turned out that I'm climbing this with my cart for absolutely no freaking reason. Just getting up here thinking, ooh, I'm gonna get on the mountain, and then I'm gonna see... Oh, come on. And then uh, I'm just gonna go straight back to the boat because I'm really being disappointed by the terrain here. When you see the terrain going downward, so let's just get back to the boat. And forget this failure that almost costed me around 15 minutes. So wasting daylight. Now I have to get the materials back in the boat. And as you can see, it's night time. So at this point, I'm thinking, I'm uh, thinking, you know what? I'm not gonna sail through the night because getting to the mountain or to a new mountain uh, without the rest is buff. As you can see, it runs out. I'm running out of it. Wet in the night time is really dangerous. So I'm going back to the base. And next thing in the morning, wasting even more time, <laughs> I'm gonna check on the mountain. But this is in order to uh, to be safe. Okay, and this is a, this is a really <laughs> annoying little guy on the path. Next day in the morning, getting every, making sure that I have everything on me, just double checking, repairing, because C79 days. I don't know, I don't know what to say about the mother in the, under a hundred days on the hardcore. But who knows, maybe we can, we can achieve that, it's still achievable if we are able to find it. That is, the sailing takes me a lot of time, around a day or something, so <laughs> I would say that the sailing and moving is the most time-consuming activity, right? So let's see, we can get this boat going, it's really hard to get it if you don't park it right every time, so it's a bit difficult to get the boat going. But we should be fine, we should be able to get to that mountain. Now that mountain that I was talking about should be in theory to my right side after I pass a small um, burial chamber, right? And there it is, I'm now heading toward it. I can see, you can see it from the distance, it's, it looks like a really tall mountain from the distance. Arriving on shore, making sure that there are no enemies nearby to destroy the boat while I'm going. Now the enemies will not destroy the boat if you're not in the area. If you're gonna leave the area and the chunk will... Uh, let me just get them cleared. Come on, really? <laughs> what happening to my, my my accuracy? So if you're leaving the chunk, the terrain will uh, unload the resources and the boat will be perfectly safe. Now this looks like kind of a steep mountain, so... It, has, it was no point in carrying all the wood and the cart, so I'll have all the resources with me. Make sure you have your stamina at half every time. And this is um, um, <laughs> a rather complicated situation here. Yeah, I nearly I panicked. I panicked so badly right here. Yeah, and for good reason. That was really dumb of me. Thinking that I can uh, actually take a shot. Take a... Um, yeah, basically take a shot from a... Drake. But yeah, that nearly melted my entire HP down. What's happening with my aim? This is really embarrassing. This is really embarrassing. So yeah, make sure your stamina bar is not all the way depleted down there when you're climbing. Because you might need some extra dodge rolls. And look at that, another doggy. Kind of like these guys and a skeleton. <laughs> I guess that was his master. Let's check. Maybe this will be the lucky chest. Ooh, <laughs> look at that. We got him, folks. Folks, we got him. We got the onion seeds. And that will be a huge boost 
before the bone mass fight to have the onion soup. That would be amazing. Because after I'm going to defeat the bone mass, I'm going straight for the mother. I'm not going to waste any time because there are no objectives to be had. I'm just fulfilling those objectives at this at this very moment. We're on the mountain. So I figured out um, I need a safe spot. I need a, a base that's not... Look at these guys. Come on, guys. Oh, really? You're running away. They did change the AI. Now the enemy is running away and then it's coming back at you. Uh, back at you. A bit of a surprise situation. So yeah, I figured out I need a base and some sort of an outpost here. So yeah, why not have it on top of that, on this uh, structure? This, these structures, they can, the enemies can destroy the structures. But I figured out they're not just gonna tear down the base. And there's, look, the fourth, no, the fifth stone golem. <laughs> As you can see, five, five, oh my god, five stone golems in two episodes. See, they're not going for the stone structure, they're just gonna destroy whatever you built down there. So I figured out a build up here. It's only going to be a problem for the drakes, but I can take care of the drakes. I'm worried about the stone golems with their AoE attacks. So, obviously working on the top of this, I'm going to try and make it a bit flat. <laughs> as flat as you can possibly make it. And then create some sort of a makeshift shelter just for our time on this uh, on this mountain. It's getting dark pretty soon, I'm just going to I spend time farming the wood, taking care of some wolves down there. But yeah, farming the wood is a really bad idea, as I said, but I had no choice, had to be done. And now we're safe and hopefully we can sleep the night in our new outpost. In the morning, I still haven't finished the... Oh, look, 80 days, oh my god. I still haven't finished the outpost, so... Uh, we still have 20 more days getting rid of more wood for the chests inside. And of course that this will attract unwanted attention and you're gonna see in a second what I meant. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> there they are. And they actually heard me making a lot of noise. Where's my aim? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. So this is how it looks. It's a bit dangerous to walk up here and it's not really... It doesn't go smooth. Climbing here is not very smooth, so... But it's fine for now. It, it, it will serve its purpose. Let's finish this up. Let's move the bed and create some storage in here. But for that, I'm gonna need more wood. There are enemies everywhere. I swear to God, I don't know if this is the difficulty or whatnot, but there are enemies everywhere on the mountain. Maybe because just two types of enemies, or three types of enemies, during the day. But there are a lot of them. They made sure to have a lot of enemies on the mountain. And there's the event. Now luckily this was uh, they were they had no bows, right? So oh come on, really? Oh woo. So they had no bows, they were just melee or uh, skeletons and Draugr having only swords. So I could just stay up here and wait out for the event to run its course and then take care of them. Because I'm not going down there, obviously. Well, for, for obvious reasons, we want to live <laughs> as much as possible. So yeah, <laughs> let's just wave at them. <laughs> Since the smell is gone, let's just take care of them really quick. Nothing exciting in fighting Draugr and Skeleton that's, that uh, can't actually climb up where you are. But you're gonna see, things are gonna be really interesting in the next event that we're gonna have. So, I'm not gonna tell you what, you're gonna see for yourselves. One more day passed. 81 days. Oh my god. Spending so much time on this mountain. Getting ready of, getting rid of uh, different enemies and wolves are everywhere, as I said. And I'm really paying attention to every single sound. So here's the key to the mountain survival, is um, the sound, right? So make sure you're listening carefully to all the enemies around you. Can I... Oh, nice. <laughs> yes, I can. Right, so we're getting full on uh, freeze glands, but that's good. Because we're gonna need a ton of them for arrows for the bone mass. 
I don't know how the bone mass fight is gonna go, given that this is um, hardcore, right? So I know it goes pretty... T it's, it's a really long fight on a normal mode with frost arrows. But I don't know how the hardcore one is, so I'm gonna be super ready since we I can't teleport the resources. But look at this. See, I told you I found something super rare. <laughs> right up on this mountain, I found this. And I've never done the Hilder quest. I've never gotten to that. So I'm in the Howling Cavern on Hardcore. Now, for some reason, I don't know what I'm in for. And I decided just to go inside there and take a look. And the first bat told me why this is a bad idea. And this bat really took around close to 15% of my HP. Because it's a one star bat. And for some reason, these guys hit like a truck. Fortunately, I got that. I got this one, but uh, there's another one. So this place is infested with one-star bats, and this is bad for me. At this point, I realized this might not be a really good idea, but I was determined to see what's in here. And imagine just cle clearing this uh, dungeon, or oh, really <laughs> clearing this dungeon this early on. This is rather seemed like an impossible task. So I'm sneaking for no reason here. The bats can hear me. I'm just thinking that they can't, but they actually can. And they've proved me over and over again that they can hear me. And I also can't see anything in here. It's really foggy. It's a really, really weird cavern. And that. And I'm getting bit. Who knows how many diseases I've contracted so far. I'm getting totally shredded by bats at this point. So yeah, I was curious to see... There, I know there are mini-bosses in these ones, and I was curious to see the mini-boss. But at the same time, I didn't want to die to the mini-boss, so I'm having second thoughts here. <laughs> Should I go? Should I not go? I don't know. I see that this thing opens up, and it's really scary for me. That looks crazy. That looks scary. That looks rather scary, and it goes down. I don't want to go down there. I really don't want to go down there. So I figured out, you know what? Let's not do this. Let's just instead looking look around here and maybe um, check another room or two and get the heck out of here. Even the bats are a problem. So if I can get my my aim, oh look now there are two. Now there are two and they're just deleting my HP. <laughs> Still, these aren't a problem as long as you can take them one at a time. But yeah, I'm really missing a melee weapon right here. So, down to 80% of my HP. God damn, nice, in midair. And I figured out, you know what? Let's just clear the next room and uh, get the heck out of here. So, this is where I made my... Um, the shot of my, uh, my life. Look at this. Ouch! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I got so panicked, I just popped the potion and ran out. I nearly died to a one-star bat. Or there were three one-star bat. So getting back to the base, and of course there are wolves everywhere around the, my, my base. So yeah, nearly died there. Uh, let's not do that again. Let's not go into the Howling Cavern at this, uh, at this point. I have no armor for those bats, I have no weapons for them. And I don't know if I can take the miniboss, so we're not gonna risk it at this point. We're gonna come here back eventually for the mini boss. Look at this. This is a rather interesting structure. I've never seen a ruin like this. Okay, let me get that skeleton. Come on, come on. On a slope. Look at the drop here. Oh my god. If I were to drop down there, well, that would be the end of the run. Nice. Super, super cool landscape on the mountain. And fortunately, I found another one. So another cavern. But yeah, also found a drake. I'm listening because I uh, I think I heard a stone golem. I wasn't super sure there. But I also found some drakes at the entrance here. There you go, it's right here beside me. So he wants to surprise me, give me a nice spook. Be gone. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and your friend. Yeah, there you go. I love when you shoot them in mid-air, the mechanics are great. So, Frost Caves. This is much better than the Howling Cavern. Sounds uh, sounds safer. 
I feel, I feel actually, even if this place is totally dangerous, I feel a lot safer in here. A lot of oaths. Come on. I'm scared to go down there. Are there more? There's one. There's another one. What fresh hell. There's another one. Ooh, there's a cultist. Let's take him out. Please be gone. Thank you. Can I have a head? Can you drop? No head for us. Oh, and there's another one. Another one of our friends. So this was another really close encounter here with the cultists. If these guys land their fire, uh, their fire attacks on me, that will uh, shred my HP to half. So just waiting for him. Missing my shot, of course I'm missing my shot, why not? And yeah, thankfully the fiery explosion at the end doesn't do damage. But yeah, still a dangerous place to be in. A lot of olives there. And if you get too close to the olives, they have that jumping attack on you. And that's that's really dangerous and can shred your HP like crazy. So yeah, this was um, the only experience that I had down here. I figured out, no, 82 days, it's night time, let's get back to the base. I'm not gonna do anything stupid like this. I still wanted to try and see if I can find more structures on this mountain. I haven't explored the entire mountain. But yeah, this was the experience on the mountain. The rather large experience. So, this is what I've achieved so far. We're still going to explore this mountain, so stay tuned for more in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for all your support on the comments. And I'll see you in the next episode of our challenge, where hopefully we're going to get closer to the bone mass. Bye-bye.